Cooking with Coach Amy. This is a holiday edition. We're super excited to be making some on-plan hot cocoa bombs. I did initially try this recipe out using skinny chocolate, and my daughter Lily has been very successful. But we are hoping on a wing and a prayer that we can drive through see this thing. And we're going to use some Bake Believe chocolate-flavored melting wafers. So if you see these right here, they um, it's palm kernel oil, palm oil, inulin, erythritol, non-fat dry milk, cocoa powder, um, sunflower lecithin, natural flavor vanilla, and stevia. So I would say um, that palm kernel oil may be a little bit personal choice, but if we can get some hot cocoa bombs in our life and stay really close to on plan, I say we're winning. So what we have going here is a double boiler situation, kind of rigged up, a pan with some water, and my water is boiling. So we're going to put a half a cup of the melting wafers in our glass dish, and we are going to get this melted. I'm going to use these little finger, um, what are these called? Little pot holders, but they're fingers. Mm -hmm. And you just hold your little pot. We're just gonna keep stirring until we get these melted. Hey y'all, it only took a couple minutes for the wafers to melt. So we're gonna move them very carefully over here. We're gonna give them a good little stir just to make sure they're happy. Okay, so we have two silicone bomb molds. I don't know what they're really called, but they are on my Amazon storefront if you want to order some. And we've had them chilling in the freezer on this board. You're going to want your silicone molds to stay on a board to get them in and out of the freezer easily. We're going to use a spoon and we're just going to use it to coat the molds. Okay, it's a little tedious job, but it's going to be okay. for just a little bit and um, some of them have the chocolate have settled at the bottom so we're just going to grab some from the bottom and just kind of paint towards the edges so that we have a good solid shell back in the freezer they go okay so now we're going to try our hand at these white baking chips the bait believe See how they do. It's too shabby. It's a lot better than that skinny chocolate we tried earlier. <laughs> I think it is best to hold the mold in your hand while you're doing this. Kind of helps you kind of navigate and stuff, you know. You know. Yes. This is working, baby. just a handful of the chips literally I didn't measure but a handful that's what I did all right let's get these in the freezer oh these are looking great Lily I think I'm gonna give a little extra love um, to the top edges make sure we get that thick and then we'll pop back in the freezer. Oh yeah. Just a little, little smear here. Just coating the back side of my spoon with the, um, with the chocolate. I can feel how solid it is. Oh, this makes me happy. I don't even know. <laughs> If you're in tips, miss, you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. That's another thing I learned this week. I learned FOMO and whatever that the acronym is for if you know, you know. It's a lot of letters. <laughs> Have you heard that? Are you trying not to sneeze, kid? Are you trying not to laugh <laughs> at your crazy mother? All right. One more, one more little, one more little freezer. Praise the Lord. The Lord. 
Okay, guys, so now we're going to give another little bit of love to our white chocolate ones. Oh, I about lost some. And get that nice um, coating on the edge there. Kind of grab some of it that might be at the bottom to pull up. I might have to heat up some more white chocolate. I don't know. I don't know. The bottoms of mine are kind of thick, so I'm able to pull up and make sure that my edges are thick. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, I'm so excited. Scraping the barrel. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pop the white chocolates back in the freezer. This is a plate that I've had freezing to chill for making the bombs. I already have um, make sure all that solid before we start getting excited over here. <laughs> okay, we're ready to assemble our cocoa bombs. I already have Prep Ahead Healing Hot Cocoa Mix, Trim Healthy Table, page 467, and I have some Lily's Peppermint Flavor Baking Chips. I like to use these as my marshmallows. <laughs> Um, and it gives a little minty flavor. You can use other flavors if you like, no problem. So um, I've chilled this plate in the freezer so that, um, oh, Lily, they're gonna work good. Freeze so hard, freeze so hard. Um, is it a better way, like, should I turn them over and pop them out? No, okay, y'all, I'm scared. Oh, thank you, thank you, sweet Jesus. All right, so we're gonna be very careful and get these popped out. Oh, they're glorious. It's glorious. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. We are going to use our little electric skillet again. Um, we're going to be heating up the edges to seal our cocoa bombs. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's a lot of work, guys. It's a lot of work for some cocoa bombs. This will be so cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pan heated up and get our hot cocoa mix. I'm really putting this in three. Now I have um, four sets of these molds, so I could be making a lot more at a time, but we were just kind of holding our breath with this, <laughs> this endeavor. Two of those in there. All right, now we are ready to get these. We're gonna hold them very carefully. Just gonna sit them in the pan here and let that get melty. Lily, you wanna tell me when? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, not long, are you sure? Yeah. Just put it right over the edge there. Is that it? Squish it. She's going to check it. All right, I'm going to put my next one in the pan. Oh, now she's using the leftover chocolate. My girl's a smart one. All right, got to line them up just so they're not all going to line up perfect. Did you find that? That it's not lining up just perfect? Mm -hmm. That's okay. We're filling it in. Here, you want to sit it right here? We're going to put them in this little container. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. It is very satisfying, guys. I, I, it, it very much seems like a whole ton of work, but I, I'm a happy, I'm a happy Coach Amy. Very, very. All right. And we'll put them back in the freezer, right, to sit. Mm -hmm. And then to store. Okay. Ooh, I got my finger. I didn't even realize it. Um, I would say if you have any of your cocoa bombs um, that have the edge, kind of like a lip around it, that's the one you should put for the top. And any that don't have that little um, edge on there, those are going to be your bottoms. 
I was saying that it didn't make any sense coming out. They were just sealing the edges, guys. It's time for the white ones. even a way to make sprinkles. Willie, what do you think like if we did, I'm not going to do this right now probably. I don't know. I might. <laughs> um, super sweet and like a little food coloring. Make sprinkles. Okay. So these, these three need to be our bottoms and these three need to be our tops. Okay, guys, I'm going to pop these white ones in the freezer. Okay, y'all, we have heated up some unsweetened almond milk, and we are ready to put um, all of this together. So do you want to do a chocolate or a white chocolate? White chocolate. chocolate. Okay, so put it down in her. So I'll do a light chocolate. I'm very careful. <laughs> it's like my babies. <laughs> all right. See how this goes. Okay, okay. Well, that first pour did not go very well, so I changed it to a little cup with a spout. And uh, mine is starting to melt. Lily, here comes yours. Oops. Move it closer so you can see it a little bit. All right, we got little cinnamon sticks to stir. Oh wait, this is yours. <laughs> oh yeah, there it goes. Might not should have filled it all the way at the top. <laughs> all kinds of lessons being learned today, y'all. All kinds of lessons. Okay, gotta be real careful. <laughs> okay, so don't fill it up all the way. Let it do its little bomb situation. Be cute and precious. And then we're going to buzz it up and then we can add more milk. There we go. Wait, you want to try it? Smells like red hot chocolate. It's peppermint. You like it? I stuck my cinnamon sticks in mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, say cheese. <laughs> well, guys, this was really a labor of love, making these hot cocoa bombs. We have four more left, and I think we may guard them with our hearts. <laughs> but um, I really hope that you learned a lot, and I hope that you will enjoy this. Please let me know if you make these. Thanks so much for watching. Merry Christmas. Thanks.